I think the number one thing that is our strength is the residents themselves. They're the ones that have to make the program run and make it what it is. If you don't have good residents, it doesn't matter what ideas or initiatives you have. If they're not buying into it, it doesn't matter. The attendings, the residents, the, the nurses, all the staff, everyone kind of works together as a family. And uh, we don't have any fellows currently here, so we have all the specialties that you would be interested in. Um, but as the resident, uh, you get to do all those cases and you get to be a part of all that high-risk care and gynoc care. I think our surgical skills are like way beyond what one would expect. You get to assist in C-sections on day one. By week two to three of my first year, I was doing primary on C-sections. We have a really unique patient population. There's a lot of healthcare disparities and definitely a lot of need here. At the same time, our patients are really sick, so we see a lot of, you know, I mean, end-stage disease, whether it would be like GYN cancer. We have a lot of preeclampsia. One, there's a lot of ways you can help patients, and two, you know, you get to, as a learner, see a lot of things, so that's really good. There are a lot of different ways to be an obstetrician gynecologist, and a lot of different places to do that, and we give you a taste of all of it. With our education, we try to be very innovative in what we do in teaching the residents, so whether that's simulation, whether that's patient panels to talk about something, whether that's bringing in speakers from the outside, whether it's leveraging online modules that are out there, how can we push the envelope of education innovation and not just accept the way it's been done for the last 50 years. Our faculty are really great. I think that they're really supportive and approachable. We definitely have good mentors in our program. So the new hospital is absolutely beautiful. We got a new workroom that allows for a lot of space for all our providers, including medical students, off-service residents, the residents on service, the attendings, the midwives, nurse practitioners. So everyone's kind of one big family in that room and we all get to kind of bounce ideas off of each other and work together. One thing I really like about our residency program is that we're in a big academic center, but we're not in a big city. So if you have a free afternoon, you can go mountain biking, hiking. Most outdoor activities are pretty close by, but also Pittsburgh's only like an hour away. Morgantown's very unique. Uh, you know, I think it's one of the most progressive cities in West Virginia, which I really like. You have the college town, so you're surrounded by the university and you have all those college amenities, but at the same time, there's a lot of professionals here. The people here, I think, make a really nice community. Getting around Morgantown's super easy. And there's a lot of really great restaurants. We have a person designated in our department to kind of like help us have structured activities focusing on, you know, time management, stress relief and things like that. So I think it's important because OBGYN is a really stressful career. Um, so I think building a foundation early as far as how you're going to manage the stress and also be a functioning human being that enjoys life is really important. So I think it's really nice that our program is working in that culture. We want to train residents and, and physicians that can practice for a lifetime and can feel good and, um, and well and whole while they do it. Because if we can't bring our best selves to our patients, our patients won't get the best outcomes.